Hello, and thank you for choosing Orchestra's how-to series. In this video, we're going to discuss units of measure and how they uh, pertain to sales and purchasing documents. So in inventory, when you create a new master data card, uh, a new item, you need to set up the purchasing and sales data. By default, these are set to 1. Um, now I've created an item that has very different purchase and sales criteria. In purchasing, we purchase in pallets, and we purchase 100 counted units per pallet. In sales, we sell in packages, and we sell 10 counted units per package. Inventory, um, we count them in eaches, and we keep track of total committed, ordered, and in stock by the eaches. So, um, this would be considered what we call the base unit, the smallest unit of measure for counting. So let's uh, do a purchase order. And actually, before we do the purchase order, let's just take it um, take into consideration how many of each item we have on order and on that is committed. So we have 17,500 on order, 160 committed on sales orders. So go to purchasing, go to purchase order create a quick purchase order for let's say 100 pallets and a price of $200 per pallet. Now if we say base unit yes it'll drop down to $2 per base unit and we're purchasing 100 base units. We say no now we're purchasing 100 pallets at $200 per pallet. So we add this, we go to our inventory data, we see currently it is not refreshed, so we refresh the screen, and now we can see that on order 27,500 up 10,000 individual units. Okay, now let's make a sales order. So choose our customer, choose our item. Um, Let's say we're going to purchase 1,500 base units, or 150 packages, at a cost of $30 per package. Now again, I can switch this to base unit and see that my base price is $3 per unit, but I want to purchase 1,500 base units, 150 packages. So everything looks good, we give it a delivery date, and we say add. Now again, we can go to the master data, refresh the page, and we see that, oh, we do indeed have 1,500 additional on-order units instantaneously. Okay. Um, and just real quick, let's do a sales order where we actually purchase, or we actually sell the item in the base unit. So we choose our item, and we want to sell 15. This is an odd number. This would be like selling you know, 1.5 uh, packages. So we say base unit, yes, we're selling these for $3 a piece. So total $45. Okay, and it's just to show you that's possible, oops, forgot my due, my due date. Um, we've now sold a half package and the system had no trouble with that at all. Okay, I hope the, you find this helpful. This concludes how you can set uh, purchase unit of measures and sales unit of measures, and also how you can override those on the line to purchase or sell in whatever quantities you prefer. I um, hope this was beneficial, and uh, as always, feel free to give us a call, 559-477-4256, uh, or shoot us an email, info at orchestrateam.com, or you know, feel free to visit us on the web, www.orchestrateam.com. Thank you and have a good day.